Hey guys, uh, I want to talk about a few exchange tokens here uh, that I think are going to do the best. I'm going to give you four of them real quick. And uh, keep in mind, I do have more exchange tokens. Uh, for example, I have the Bitru token. Um, you know, I have maybe $50, $60 worth of this coin. Uh, it's not much, of course. Um, I also hold, uh, for example, um, other tokens such as CRO, uh, which, you know, I hold quite a bit of that actually because I hold the red card and I want to upgrade to that next level, you know, green or blue card. Um, but yeah, these are not the only ones that I hold. I, I hold maybe six or seven uh, of these exchange tokens at the moment. Um, I wish, you know, I could get Gate and uh, KuCoin, but they're just out of my reach now. You know, I need too much money for that. Um, but anyways, guys, my first coin is BNB. As you know from the channel, I talk about BNB very often. Now, the other day I did tell you we need to break above the all-time high, and you can see what happened. It got really rejected on, you know, that day, the 4th of June. And the next day, it was able to finally push through and make new all-time highs. Actually, it made a new all-time high this day, but it just couldn't close above the all-time high. So anyways, guys, uh, it managed to also close in the next Fibonacci range. And you can see that today it did retest this you know, bottom side of the Fibonacci, and it is getting a bounce. So basically, right now, we're pretty much at all-time highs. Um, now it has been up to $721 and it's $715 right now. But guys, basically it's all time highs right now. Um, and, you know, I believe in the short term, you know, we're going to see a, a major run for BNB. And, you know, I think the next logical point that we're going to find resistance is around about $1,000. And keep in mind, okay, maybe $800, $900. These are also psychological numbers. Um, you know, because it's one digit higher, you know, basically when you go from eight to nine or nine to 10, you know, so like 1000 or 1100, it's psychologically, you know, a number that people just, they don't like to buy. Um, but that's basically the only resistance we have right now until we get to the top of the Fibonacci. Um, now, if we take a look at the next coin, you might be surprised. Let me expand this. This is XT.com. And I, you know, when I sold my HTX, I actually picked up this coin. And I'm not sure when I picked it up. I think it was somewhere, oof, I think in like February or something like this. I think it was around here, guys. And then it dipped. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, God. And, uh, you know, because I had just taken my money out of HTX, of course. And uh, anyways, it actually got a bounce from that point, pretty much. And I know this is quite small, so let me just expand this a little bit so you can see. And uh, basically, since that point, it hasn't really looked back. And uh, it is actually right now at new all-time highs. And, you know, probably nobody really knows about this coin because it's not that big of an exchange. But you can see this was the all-time high uh, back in 2022 in August. So that was about two years ago. And you can see now we have broken above it. So, again, another exchange token which sits at all-time highs. And I believe probably it's going to run... Uh, to about here, about, what, $4.70 before we see some resistance. Um, now, okay, it might get some resistance at $4. Like I said, you know, that's psychologically um, a number, again, which plays with people's minds and they don't want to buy, of course, you know. Um, anyways, that doesn't really matter. Uh, but, yeah, this is, I think, an excellent token. Um, you know, I wish I had more. I only picked up about 100 of it. Uh, but anyways, we'll see where this one goes. And uh, But right now, it is on one of the better runs from the exchange tokens that I've seen. Now, let me zoom out here and go to another coin. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, again, zoom 
So here is maybe my third pick. And I'm kind of surprised I ran into this coin just through a student of mine who was using this exchange. And, you know, I noticed that when I looked at it, I don't remember what I was looking for, but I noticed they had an exchange token and I decided to look into it a little bit. And I found that I think there's about 10 billion of this coin, which that's like Matic basically. So this has the possibility to do something like Matic, um, you know, maybe in the last bull run, for example. So I don't think it's going to do that though. But the previous all-time high for this token, if we go back, um, let me just put this on the weekly chart. It might be a little easier to see. Uh, let me zoom out. And I think it was around, yeah, okay, it's up here at about 14 and a half cents. So it's almost halfway there. It's basically in the last four weeks just pumped. You can see this. This is massive. You know, I mean, this is unbelievable pumpage here. And it's out of the accumulate accumulation, you know, zone. And yeah, it's pumping, guys. I, I just have to say this is one of my favorite coins at the moment. For some reason, I'm just kind of fascinated with this coin. And, you know, I, I think it's going to do really well. I think this is an exchange. Uh, they don't use KYC for now. And that's a good thing for a lot of people because they don't like it. So you're probably going to see this exchange blow up, really. Uh, the more and more exchanges that go to KOIC, the worse, you know, for many people. And, you know, I don't really mind KYC, but, you know, personally, I know a lot of people that hate it. So, yeah, this is an exchange that can benefit from that and can take the users that want to be anonymous, you know. And uh, anyways, keep this one in mind, guys, because, yeah, I wish I had more. I might actually try to still pick up a little bit more. I am getting, you know, a little bit of free money uh, soon here, and I may try to get, you know, a little bit more. I, you know, I bought this actually, I think, down around here uh, about the middle of May. And yeah, I bought it just before it started running, guys. So the next and last exchange token that I think is going to do really well uh, is this BitGet token. Now, let me expand this. You can see that it had a large fall today. It really, I, I think, <laughs> now I haven't like checked on anything, but I think this is because the BWB airdrop is finished today. So a lot of people sold off this, um, you know, and I'm a little bit confused too myself about this airdrop uh, because I thought I was going to get more and I just ended up with like, I think 12.19 BWB, I sold it. It was only a few bucks. And, uh, but I thought I was gonna be airdropped more because I held uh, BGB token. Now, I'm not sure if I had to do something or register somewhere and do a little bit more than what I thought I had to do. I thought I didn't really have to do anything. I thought they were just counting how much I had in my account and I would get an airdrop. Apparently not. Um, you know, and that, that BGB was staked the whole time, inflexible staking. So I'm not sure. Um, you know, and that's kind of a problem for me. Uh, I wish it was more like, you know, BNB. Uh, I wish it was that simple. Um, you know, Binance really makes it very easy for users to get new coins and, and uh, you know, participate in launch pools and things. So I don't know. I do think this is going to be a good exchange uh, token. But right now, I'm going to put it fourth on my list just because of this reason and what happened today a little bit kind of surprised me. I was waiting and waiting and nothing, and I'm, you know, kind of disappointed, actually. I hold quite a bit of uh, BGB, and I pretty much bought down at about 35 cents, I would say, plus minus most of this BGB. And uh, I have quite a bit. It's, it's in my top 
uh, 10 tokens, really, that I hold. Um, actually, it's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number eight for me at the moment. And I can tell you if it just pumped up to where it was today, uh, it would be the number five token easily uh, for me in my bag. So I'm happy I bought this one, uh, but we'll see. They need to make it a little bit easier for participating in airdrops and things. Um, but it's, you know, it's going to be an excellent token. Anyways, guys, um, just wanted to share that with you and uh, basically, you know, give you kind of like some insight, we can say, about these exchanges. Um, but yeah, I would still say BNB is the safest, it's number one, and it's not going to stop probably until we get to 1500 to 2000 dollars now if i had to guess on xt uh whew, this one can probably be a 20 to 25 dollar token um this cet you know if i had to guess right now it's sitting at six cents and it's been on a massive run lately now the fibonacci shows the top price for this will probably end up being around 50 cents you know, I can see that actually. It may do that. And this reminds me of CRO token. And uh, although there's much less of this token than CRO. And with BitGet, I believe this one can also be around, you know, $15, $20, uh, 25 in a very good bull run. So I think. 15 is probably, you know, almost sure though. Um, so we'll see guys. Uh, that's just guesses right now. We're still far away from, you know, finishing um, the bull run. Well, not really far, but I would say we're probably at least six months to nine months still, you know, is that's probably what we have left. And uh, anyways, guys, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.